back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the top beauty buys that I made in 2014. I have found about 10 products that I have bought in 2014 and that I have tried and tested and loved. Not just liked, but I've loved. I'm not doing average here, we're gonna do, we're, we're doing the best. We're doing loved here, okay? So all these things I've tried, I absolutely love these products and so we're gonna do a little video about them. I love watching product reviews from other people about their experiences with the product and when I get someone's review I like to know even if I've already bought something I actually like to also look at the reviews so that I can see does other people like this product is it just me that likes this product so and I love this kind of community of like sharing information about products so if you have any suggestions below please please list them in the comments below of anything you'd like me to review or if you found that your experience with that particular product might be different from mine then you know sharing's caring people sharing Everyone's caring. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. So in no particular order, but first on the list of things that I bought that I absolutely loved was this Josie Moran kind of gift set thing. Now, I bought this in the early part of 2014, but I believe that she comes out with this every year. And what it is, it's like a gift set full of like miniature sizes, miniature trial, trial sizes of all the best products that she sells. And in this kind of miniature set was this uh, argan oil. Um, now argan oil is kind of like kind of like her signature thing for the brand and this is a 15 mil size of the argan oil and it's fantastic. In the set which I also loved came the cleansing oil and also the hair serum as well. So I used this product as a moisturiser. You can use it in your hair and also your nails as well. But for me at the time, I have actually just used it as a moisturiser, but it's absolutely fantastic. Now you'd think given that it's an oil that it'd be quite oily. I have quite oily skin, but it actually isn't. As a moisturiser, it was great. I'd come out of the shower, I'd put it on and it moisturised my skin. It didn't leave my skin feeling overly oily and it is actually oil free since it doesn't actually contain any synthetic oils. Um, absolutely fantastic. Now it is 100% argan oil. If you have dry dehydrated skin it's also great for dry dehydrated skin it is just like an all-rounder you know it's one of those products which just it kind of transcends into like different areas of beauty just really really well in the set I also received the argan oil cleansing oil and it was absolutely great I did actually try to remove uh, the Dior backstage waterproof mascara with it just to really kind of try it out there and it came off beautifully it doesn't leave a very kind of oily residue on the skin it leaves a slight film but nothing which is excess oily at all and it has a beautiful scent to it as well things so. that I also received in the gift set was the argan oil hair serum now the argan oil hair serum is a little bit more lighter weight compared to the 100% argan argan oil which you could use for the hair, the moisturiser and the nails. And I had actually bought, I went out afterwards and actually bought like a full size version of this from Sephora. So this is the 60ml version. Um, again it is 100% organic, it's an anti-frizz treatment and it creates like a nice kind of like shine on the hair, not really too shiny, it's not overly glossy, and the reason why I bought it is because my little baby girl, um, I wanted to use something in her hair because she's got very, very curly hair, and the, the curls are really beginning to get quite tight. So I wanted to kind of use something in her hair that's going to condition her hair, but not be like overly heavy, you know, and leave like a, you know, again, like a heavy residue, and I wanted it to be organic, so hence that's the reason why I bought it, and it's lovely. I really, really like it, and every night I pop it in her hair, and it smells fantastic. I think almost everybody who picks up my baby is like, oh, her hair hair smells so good I can just eat it and so this is actually what it is it's the Josie Moran um, argan hair serum so I love this product it also contains no sulfates and no parabens and you know I really want to kind of use as many organic products as possible who doesn't these days and this does exactly that so no. next on my list of top beauty buys was a Kevin Aquan lipstick I think you almost have to sing Kevin Aquan when you say his name right I mean when I heard that he was coming out with a makeup range I was super excited as I'm sure nearly every Everybody else was that loves beauty and loves makeup and the range is just beautiful the packaging is gorgeous really well thought out products um, I think yes they are slightly pricier but yes they're worth it so I went to London during summer and I went to Space NK and everyone loves a little bit of Space NK and that's where I came across the Kevin Aquan products I know they're sold here in Canada too now let's talk about the packaging first of all so it looks like this 
It comes in this kind of cube format and it is super chic, I think. I think it's ultra stylish and very, very innovative in terms of packaging. Um, also, it has this kind of like magnetic clip here. So the lipstick is never gonna fall out of the top and the top's never gonna fall off the bottom. And as a result, when it's in your makeup bag or at the bottom of your handbag or wherever you keep it, it the top's not gonna fall off and you're not gonna get all this kind of like dust and grit gathered onto the lipstick. Now the lipstick is 28 pounds. I kind of would expect all these things from a 28 pound lipstick, which kind of equates to about $45. Um, but it is beautiful and this is a luxury product. Let's talk about the color. Now underneath it does say that this color is called Fallon, but it does say that the color is actually like a baby pink, but I wouldn't call this a baby pink. It's more like a baby salmon. Yes, can you have that? That's a new color, there you go. It's like a baby salmon. So I'm just gonna swatch it here. It's very, very warm. Now I had bought it in summer and for a summer color, it's gorgeous. I love peachy colors in summer. So that's what it, that's the kind of, swatch colour there on my hand, that's what it looks like. It is a beautiful product, I will say that, and it does, it also smells incredibly luxurious. The smell, I love the scent, and you can always tell, I think, lipsticks sometimes by their scent and how much they kind of cost. Do you ever find that, like more expensive lipsticks have like an expensive perfume in them? Now, this is also incredibly lightweight as a lipstick. It is a satin finish, not a matte finish, but it does give you at least a couple of hours really Really good wear out of it. It leaves a kind of slight gloss on the lips, not overly glossy, but definitely not matte. It's also paraben free and it also feels very, very kind of like moisture laden. The lipstick is a very moisture laden lipstick. Um, it feels very, very conditioning on my lips and it never dried out my lips. This gets an absolutely definite thumbs up from me. Moving on is another Kevin Aquan product, and this was the Precision Brow Pencil, and it looks like this. It comes in, again, quite classic packaging for a brow pencil, um, but what I loved about this was uh, two things. Firstly, the fact that it's retractable. Um, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I love the fact that you can twist it up, and then you can twist it back down again, and it kind of like hides in there, and I love that. And secondly, and most importantly, is how precise this is. Now, I love brow products. I've tried brow pencils, brow gels, eyeshadow, you name it, I've tried it. And this is just one product which I have to say I really do love. Now, it's called the Precision Brow Pencil for a reason, because it really is precise. My eyebrows that I'm sporting today, la la, are done with this Kevin Aquan Precision Brow Pencil. This is the color Warm Blonde. Um, but I believe this pencil is about 20 one pounds. Again, I also bought it from Space NK. The only suggestion that I may have is that they actually introduce a few more colours to the range. I found the range in terms of colours of eyebrow pencils to be a little bit limited, but in terms of actually what it does, absolutely faultless. I love this brow pencil. It's not very smudgy. When you lay it down on the brow, it really is quite precise. And although you don't get like a point at the end of the, the lead as such, it is seems to be like a little bit more narrow compared to other brow pencils. So it's quite a narrow point and as a result you can really sculpt out your brows much better than with most other pencils that I've used. Again, another absolute huge thumbs up. Kevin Aquan have done, they've, I feel they've done so, so well with this range of makeup. So on to the cheap and cheerful. I went to Target early this year and purchased this e.l.f. Eyes, Lips and Face High Definition Powder. Now it comes in this packaging, it's quite big and it's quite square, as you can see, and that probably is its only drawback. It's not really the kind of thing that you probably want to take for a night out with you, but it is a great product. So you unscrew the top and inside it's a white powder and it has the perforated holes to help control the amount that comes out. But it does come with this kind of velour powder puff and I love this. And you literally just kind of like dispense a little bit out and you can just pat it onto the skin in any areas that you're feeling a little bit oily and it instantly mattifies. It really is a really good high definition powder. Now what's also wonderful about it, and this is obviously what makes it a high definition powder, is that it has lots of kind of like soft focus particles. So it really helps to blur lines on the face. So it just makes, it gives everything, it gives the skin like a glow, like a kind of like soft focus glow. And I love that, it smooths everything out. and 
more than anything else, and this is the reason why I love it, and this is the reason why it's made the top 10, is that it's $6. This powder competes with some of the best powders on the market, I would say, and I've used quite a few, and for $6, for a high definition powder, eyes, lips and face have done amazingly well with this. So. I've applied it with both the powder puff that it comes with, and also with a big face brush too. Um, I actually probably prefer the powder puff that it comes with it. Now the actual texture of the powder is very, very velvety. It's very fine and it's very velvety. It's really silky, yeah, silky straight velvety on the skin. So it has a gorgeous feeling on the skin as well. It has no scent to it, um, but I think it's a really, really good basic product. Next up is a product which I know has already had tons of reviews and people already love. Um, and it has to make my top 10 because I also love it. And it is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I love this palette. I know lots of people love this palette and there really is good reason for it. So the smell, as we know, I mean, ugh, pigment, smell, eyeshadows. Ugh. Worlds have collided. So let's just talk a little bit about the eyeshadows themselves. So the colours are just beautiful, aren't they? I mean, for everybody who already has this palette, I'm sure that you guys all know just how lovely this palette is to use. It really is a joy. And I think what has made this palette so special is that they have really, really thought about the colours. They've really thought about how those colours have worked together. And so you get this really great mixture of light colours and really good base colours, which they've actually made bigger. I mean, everybody knows that you use colours like, you know, this kind of light one here and this one like down here the most and hence that's the reason why they've given you more products of those. I find a lot of palettes are kind of created and they're like well there's loads of bright colours but they're all like singular bright colours and you know like how do you blend you know it, it's not really well thought out and yet this palette has been incredibly well thought out. The colours really work nicely together in fact all the eye makeup on that I have at the moment is actually done with this chocolate bar palette. I love the fact that it's full of neutral shades and these are the kind of palettes that people want to buy and people want to use because people don't want to wear bright blue on the day out, people don't want to wear green, you know? You want to wear neutrals and you want good neutrals. Um, also the pigment in these is beautiful, I love the pigments. I am a very, very fussy person I think to please when it comes to eyeshadow pigments and I think that the chocolate bar is great. The palette also has a really beautiful mixture of shimmers and mattes which is always going to create a much more three-dimensional eye makeup. I bought mine from Sephora, it's $59 and I know they've recently just introduced a semi-sweet palette and so I think I'm going to go and purchase that for 2015. I think that's on my next list of purchases. So the next product we're talking about is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Highlighter Touch Concealer Pen like this. Now the reason why this has made it into my top 10 of products is because it is a great highlighter. Now I know that obviously the title of this is a highlighter concealer, but honestly I really do feel like it's much more of a highlighter and that's really what it does. The essence of trying to highlight and conceal in the same product kind of is always lost on me, I never get it. I think for concealer, if you're gonna do your under eye concealer, use a separate product. This really is highlighting, it's not concealing. To conceal, you want to camouflage, and that's obviously not what this does. This really is a true highlighter. Now, with that said, this is actually comparable to the YSL Touche Clay, but it's at a fraction of the cost, you know? So YSL's like, 25 pounds this is like eight dollars or like eight pounds seven pounds something like that and it's absolutely great it really rivals the YSL Touche Clay and it gives it a really good run for its money. The same kind of format as having a brush on the end, you twist it and the product comes through in the brush. I'm not overly fond of these kind of brush styles but if you're just using it on yourself for hygiene reasons absolutely fine go ahead um, but absolutely great what I love is the fact that if you use not on yourself you literally just draw it on the areas you want to highlight and then blend it out it's like a gel like consistency so it's probably set a little bit thicker than the YSL Touche Clay but overall love this product at a fraction of the cost and that's the reason why it's made my top 10 of products I will say on the con side the packaging is $8 packaging I mean it's very plasticky the writing all wears off now this is the colour ivory that I bought, it does come in six colours, although I haven't actually always seen all six colours displayed wherever I have seen this product. So I always find that it always seems to sell just kind of the lighter colours and some of the darker shades they, ha they don't sell in all stores. So you'll have to kind of go on a bit of a search for that one. But besides that, absolutely wonderful product. 
Onto one of my favourite products, which is always going to be my tools as opposed to makeup. I love brushes. And so this year, I also started purchasing the Sigma brushes. And the one that I bought at first was the F82 Kabuki brush. I love this. Absolutely fantastic. Now, a Kabuki brush is usually a more denser hairbrush. As you can see, it's very, very dense and the bristles are very, very thick. But this makes all liquid and cream foundations just look gorgeous on the skin. Really buffed in, really gives you that kind of really polished, buffed in natural look. It doesn't leave the foundation sitting kind of on top of your skin. Now I have actually used this brush with my foundation that I'm currently kind of trying out at the moment. But we're going to talk about that in a separate video. It's quite, it's quite a popular foundation and I don't think that I love it as much as other people love it but uh, we will talk about that in a separate video. But this brush is absolutely fantastic for just making all foundations just really worked into the skin and really polished. So this was an absolute yes from Sigma brushes. So it's the Ran Kabuki number F82. The brush was $24 and I think $24 for a good quality makeup brush is unbeatable. I think that the brushes by Sigma are incredibly affordable and incredibly good quality and when you have those two combinations come together then it's always going to be a winner. Next, talking about lashes. So this year I was introduced to a company called Red Cherry Lashes and I've ordered it through a site which I'm going to put in the comments box below but it's nailpolishcalendar.com although you can get it um, in different countries from different places but just type in Red Cherry Lashes into Google that look like this and these are fantastic because are you ready? They are $3.50. Now, $3.50 for a pair of lashes, oh my word, I went nuts. So I was on the website, I'm ordering and ordering and ordering and ordering, and oh my gosh, I've got like a range of lashes now, all different shapes and sizes. And these are natural head lashes, and again, they really seem to rival, you know, much more higher end lashes that are sold by bigger brands that are more expensive, that are almost like, you know, five times the price kind of more expensive and these are great they are really good quality they have a really good quality spine on them as well um, they again they're natural hair now the ones uh, these ones here that I'm holding up are numbers 747M now I believe that the the letter at the end stands for whether it's short medium or long so quite often you'll get a number like this one 747 and this comes in S M and L now these ones are M and these are the ones I actually have on today as well and love these lashes for three dollars fifty you cannot go wrong and another reason why it's actually made my top ten so next we're on to a MAC product I live in MAC I mean I'm always in MAC and this year, or should I say last year, gosh, 2014, I found this new black eyeliner. It's a pro longwear liner. Uh, the colour is definedly black and it really is black. It's made my top 10 just because it's just so dense and it's so rich and it's so full of black colour. I love it. And it is great for darker skins. Um, so it's really, really good on Asian skins and black skins because the depth of black is so black that you don't get this kind of ashy look with it at all. It's also very, very long wearing and it's kind of like a very, very like I want to say gel stroke creamy texture is a very very thick black pencil so a little goes quite a long way um, it retails at $20 from MAC really really like it and I just think it is like an upgrade almost on black pencils and as the technology improves on more black pencils you'll find that pencils are beginning to last longer and longer and longer so if you wear black pencil cold pencil in your waterline you'll probably start to move away from that the beeswax based kind of cold pencils are more onto you know things like this which you know have other ingredients in them to make them much more long wearing on areas of the eye that are moist like the waterline so I really like the color I like the the density, I like the creaminess, I like the fact that you're able to sharpen it as opposed to having to like twist it up. That's why it's got into the top 10 of my makeup products. So our last product, but by our no means least product, is the Eyes, Lips and Face, the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. It looks like this. Now it's a pump action primer. It's a clear primer as well. You need a couple of kind of pumps. I put it on all over my face. I literally put it on with my fingers, put some on my forehead and around my nose and on my T-zone here and on my chin where I mostly find the foundation moves on me and it's $6. I have to repeat that, $6 is a fantastic price for what it does and I loved it from the first moment that I bought it. Now when I first bought it, I also bought at the same time the Smashbox 
Photo Finish Primer, and I much preferred this to the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I thought that this did two things. I think that when you first put it on, you really get to see that it makes a visible difference to the texture of your skin. It seems to kind of like fill in fine lines much more. Um, your skin looks like it's got, again, very much like the same effect that the high definition powder have, has that kind of soft focus on the skin. So it has that, but it also seems to definitely make your foundation last longer. This primer actually wins for me on all counts. I think it's got a really great texture. It does exactly what it's meant to do, which is obviously to make your foundation last longer. And it also makes your skin look better when you have it on. I think this primer is great for oily skins and for dry skins alike. I found that it didn't accentuate any kind of dry or patchy areas of my skin, the dry areas of my skin, and it also mattified the oilier areas of my skin as well. Yes, another plus point. Does it need to be more pluses? Does there actually need to be any more? Can I sell this any longer? No? Okay. Yeah, we're done. That was my video on 2014's top beauty picks that I tried, tested and loved and I've raved about. Can't wait to do 2015. I'm already excited about all the new products that I'm going to buy and I'm going to show you guys and all the tutorials we're going to do. Let's all show some love today. It's a day of love. It's a day of love. That's my, that's my top tip, my top beauty tip. So I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for subscribing. Bye everyone.